All right, guys. Well, the game is loading up, and our players are here. So let's go ahead and introduce them over here at the 2 o'clock position. We have our pink Protoss player from Vile Gaming. It is State. And his opponent here at the 12 o'clock position, our red Zerk player picking this map. He has to win this to stay in the tournament. It is Evil Genius's machine. Yep, and of course... Back in the day, everybody was like, oh, Scrap Station is such a Zerg map. They can take their natural, and we can't do anything about it. <laughs> they got mad. It's a free base. They wanted you to can't punish let Zerg. Zerg, Zerg have a doesn't, free base. Zerg doesn't deserve a free base. We can't let this happen. Scrap Station needs to be removed from StarCraft 2. These, I'm not kidding you. These are things people said hey, two years ago. This is cool. State oh, is going to forge yeah. fast expand. You this... never saw it on this map because that wasn't a relevant strategy. Actually, but that... Uh, you didn't see it Actually, often. Yeah. Well, you didn't see it forge style. Right. You did that's see what I'm people saying. gateway expanding well, at yes. that point in time. Yeah, they would uh, wall off with the gateway and the pylon. So, but yeah, not with a forge. Not, a forge, though. not no. a forge. Yep, it's true. It does work here, though. You can uh, you can joke. forge fast expand that off. So yep. we'll see how State wants to take advantage of that, saving up his resources for now, and yep. uh, we'll see if. You know, Machine decides to put down a 14 or a 15 pool here in a second. A lot of Terran players used to uh, wall off right away there as well. Uh, just because you can wall off, I believe, with like three barracks. So it's it was pretty easy. And there goes Machine. He's going to put down that hatch first on this map. He's going to hatch first, and it looks like State may neck. Oh, no, actually, he's not. He decides to put down the spawning oh, okay, pool back at go. home. Yeah. But well, State yeah. is going to put down a, uh, or at least was saving up for Nexus first. Well, you know, just talking about what Machine was doing, when he saw the probe was right there, yeah, he knew the pylon was coming down, he knew the possibility of cannons as well. So, yeah, very, very dangerous to hatch first, really, at, uh, back in the day on this map and any map today as well. All right, well, taking a look around now as uh, State has his Nexus. It is on the way. Yep. And uh, now we, we kind of joked before about, oh, have we ever seen players go command structure first on this? Never seen a Nexus first on this map ever. This is breaking yeah. new ground for me. State, <laughs> you are a Ooh. boss. Look at this machine taking his third already here. And not the gold. No, not the gold. He's not trying to sneak a gold or anything like that. Yes. And he's going to put down a third hatchery right away at his natural. Or he may cancel it once the probe gets by. It's a possibility, but we'll see. Most Zergs would just kind of leave it up and then... Uh, just take their third as well. He wants to go for that no gas three hatch. Go up to roaches in the mid game. Get to about 40 supply before he adds on the gas. And uh, here's the thing is with this map, he's going to be, you know, fairly safe. He's got an overlord in position to watch the rocks already that go through the middle of the map. And he's got a nice wide open area at his third base. So unless state goes for something like void rays or something like that, machines in a, a pretty good spot right now. Yeah, we do have a queen on the way now. Uh, yep. A couple of Zerglings are out and already starting to break down the destructible rocks as well. Interesting. So, of course, it takes a thousand hits from a Zergling, so it's not like it's going to be down for a while, but still. It's oh, quite a bit. Oh, what? he missed his oh. uh, hatchery. <laughs> yep. And yeah, that's... you know, that's... we. I, You know, back in the day, that happened all the time because people didn't, you know, know exactly where to put their main building, so we did see it, like, misplaced a little bit here mm -hmm. and there. Yeah, and State has already got two gas, one at each of his bases for now. Mm -hmm. uh, Machine, of course, has finished up his next hatchery and already transferring over a few drones to that effect. And we'll see how quickly he decides to tech up to gas here in a bit. You mentioned that 40 supply mark. Yeah, and, usually uh, around 40. Yeah. Some Zergs get it a little bit sooner, but yeah, it's usually about uh, about 44. It's five or six overlords, I think it is. I don't know the actual math, but because um, I don't like math. I'm just going to throw that out there. Math is amazing. All right, stay in school, kids. Yeah, so the question is, will we see State take a third as well? I feel like on this map, he's going to just want to do some sort of two-base timing. It's not too surprising that way. And look at this machine coming down, checking the gold, making sure that his opponent is sneaking an expansion that used to happen all the time on this map. Oh, yes. Oh, That's, yeah. That was a fun way to play this map. That Dude, or the island. The gold. Float to the islands. That's, that's a good solid one yeah. as well. Well, I remember one game, it was TVT, and someone decided to uh, go for the double in-base proxy racks. Yeah. And so I just floated to the island, and I literally was able to make Banshees on the island and win the game with it. It was, that was just the kind of stuff that was happening two years ago in StarCraft 2 on this map. It doesn't make any sense, 
I remember. But it happened. And that oh. was like the highest league back then, too. Look at this. We have an 8-gate again. And uh, um, yes. I remember casting a TBT. It had still life in it. I forget who he was playing. Uh -huh. But uh, both players ended up going. It was a TBT, yeah. And both players uh -huh. ended up going for a Blue Flame Hellion drop. Killed each other down to two workers on this map. And then spent the next 25 minutes oh. just to get back into a normal macro game. Oh, man. It just hurts. It was excruciating. It hurts. Yeah, all right. So there we go. Like you said, eight gates on the way. Or actually, is that? Yeah, that is eight total, isn't it? Okay. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, right. it is. So, yep. Again, math. Me, <laughs> not good. Uh, not good friends, really. <laughs> you should. You should nope. become closer friends with math. No, nope, no ambition there. Mm. Not it's really. Good partner. It'll never let you down. It's much like Rick Astley math in a lot of ways. Always but... lets me down. Oh, look at that huge warp in around that pylon, and it looks like he's going to get it in time. Oh, he even saves the pylon. Yes, he does. Uh oh, and the amount of warp there has got to make Machine feel a little bit worried, to say the least. I can imagine, because he's yeah. not moved into that mass roach Ooh. production quite yet. This 8 gate hits so fast. Yep. Just not a lot of units out there for Machine trying to rally in whatever he can, but he is going to lose this hatchery. Yeah, that's right. He's going to have to settle. Settle. <laughs> <laughs> what was that word? That, that doesn't even make sense, man. I'm just going crazy with these games on this map. He's going to have to settle for two bases. And, yeah. you know. And against an 8 Protoss, who's uh, yeah. shown to be very, very aggressive. I don't know if that alone is going to be enough. Nine more roaches coming up now, but there's just not much on the field for Machine. Not Stay really. trying to make his way in right now. And the Queen, poor Queen, alas, she goes down. Uh, her toupee popped off. You ever notice that with the Queens? Yes. Dude, they have like intestines that kind of like waggle around too. That's a very, uh, very graphic, very intense death animation. Well, speaking of death animations, I feel like we're seeing machines right now. Yeah, it's it, a long animation, but that, that is true. It does end in death, unfortunately. <laughs> well, let's see here though. As uh, you know, that hatchery was actually left alone by Stevie. Decided to continue to do more damage up towards the top, yep. picking off a couple of reinforcements as well. Mm -hmm. And he just has so much well, stuff on the field right doing? now. She's not even trying to fight. She's like, "Excuse me, GG." GG. There it is, and Vile State has taken the first set 